Hi, YouTube family. Auntie is here. Patty Jackson. It's curls. It's scoop. It's my faces. It's Friday. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to start off with a hug because there's someone who needs a hug. Let's start off by remembering William Hart, Fuji of the Delphonics. Delphonics, this great group out of Philadelphia. Randy Kane, Richie Daniels, Tom Bell, Wilbert Hart, and then there was Pooji, William Hart, passed away Thursday at the age of 77. He was an incredible singer who, a Smokey Robinson once quoted, he was my favorite singer. Pooji had this very unique voice. He was a first tenor when they would say, he had a great falsetta. When you would hear those songs on Didn't I Blow Your Mind and Lala Means I Love You. The Fugees, ready or not, trying to make a fool of me. Hey, love, just great songs that they had. He was a really wonderful man to his wife, Pamela. They were married for 53 years. She stood by his side and they had an incredible marriage. Pooji was a man who loved his fans. He loved music. He loved his family, and he loved God. He was of Muslim faith. A lot of people had no idea how great a golfer he was. And he loved to fish, and he loved to paint. He loved spending time with his grandchildren. He was a multi-talented artist who could play the drums, play the piano, play the guitar. He could write songs. And he never stopped writing songs. He lived in the next block from me. And occasionally I would send, you know, desserts or do, or do things like a good neighbor would do. I remember he used to do shows and he would tell our address. And I'd be like, who do you be telling people where I live? He would often drive by my house and compliment me on the lawn. I'm lawn obsessed. So... You know how you want your lawn to stand out and look good. And he said, Patty, you always had that lawn looking good. He was just a great neighbor when my son went on the prom and he pulled up in his van in the driveway. And I said, no, this is where the kids are walking down to the party bus. He was just, just a good person. You know how somebody puts a smile on your face when they walk in the room and he loved people. And he was a good neighbor, good friend, loved his family. Oh, Pamela Hart, you had a wonderful man and many wonderful years together. He will be missed, as we say around here. Gone but not forgotten because the music lives on. That music, that great timeless music lives on. And they gave us some great songs. Just wanted to ah, just take some time. William Hart, also known as Poochie, he died Thursday at the age of 77. Pastor John Gray has been moved to a new hospital in Atlanta. He is still in critical condition, but he's getting a little bit better. Pulmonary embolism, the, these blood clots, he had severe blood clots. And the thing with John Gray, ooh, let's pray that he gets through this. Unfortunately, we know him more for cheating on his wife than delivering the word. Hopefully, this will set him on a new chapter so he can do what he was born to do. But he's still in critical condition. We send our prayers out to him. New hospital in Atlanta. So, Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson, they were the big story yesterday. Having a child despite the threesomes, foursomes, and other kids that he's had on her. They're asking for kindness and privacy. She tired of people saying... She's tired of it. They're asking for kindness and privacy as they await the birth of their son. Singer Adele is going to be writing a is going to be having and filming a tell-all documentary about her life. I guess her marriage, subsequent divorce, becoming a mother, losing the weight, finding the love of her life, and Rich Paul, and really giving out great music. But Adele is planning a tell-all documentary. Ivana Trump passed away. She was the first. Mrs. Donald Trump died at the age of 73. 
They're saying at the funeral. All right, so let's take back to the eighties. Ivana and Donald Trump's marriage broke up because Donald got caught cheating, got the side chick pregnant. It was a nasty divorce, and Ivana was known for "Don't get mad, get even." She had that line in First Wives Club. Well, they're saying that Marla Maples, who was the who was the woman that Donald Trump was cheating on at the time, and she had a baby. They said that Marla and the daughter Tiffany ain't invited to the funeral. Ivana Trump was funny. If you watched interviews that she did, she says, well, I'm the first lady because I married him first. And she would say this with like a straight face. And that's it. She petty. Y'all know I like a little pettiness. But Ivana Trump uh, leaves behind three kids and grandkids she passed away at the age of 73. Martin Lawrence is coming back to TV in a new AMC show. He's not starring, but he's one of the stars. They're calling it a comedy sci-fi series. One week from today, it's Nope. Jordan Peele's new movie. A lot of people are talking about it. Daniel Kaluuya. This is the reason why he's not in Black Panther. Kiki Palmer. Stephen Yeun. It looks like it's going to be a good movie. So if you see all the hype and you see them everywhere, they're promoting that. Issa Rae, there could be an Insecure spinoff. I know, I'm such a fan of Insecure. I would love to see it. Issa says she's been thinking about it, but she wanted fans to miss the show. How long should you go missing a show? Well, we're going to find out because Issa says she is thinking about it. Somebody got hold of notes that R. Kelly had with his doctors. And in the notes, R. Kelly told his doctor that Aaliyah wanted to marry him. She's 15. At 15 years old, you know what you're talking about? At 15? Hide those notes, R. Kelly, because it's not going to help your trial coming up in, in August. Does Brandy love the tattoo that her brother got of her on his leg? It's not, it's, it's not that it's not a good tattoo. He made her eyes red. She's crying. She hates that tattoo. And it's like, why are you going to do that? that that's, that's not me. Brittany Griner, the WNBA star currently on trial in Russia, Drug smuggling is what they charged her with. A doctor has come forth with a note saying that she had the cannabis oil to deal with pain. She was playing ball in Russia. Athletes get hurt. They deal with pain. I don't know if that note will save her because she pleaded guilty. She said she didn't mean to be transporting drugs. She did not mean it. She pleaded guilty. She faces 10 years in jail. Do you think there'll be a prisoner swap or something? It's really a shame she's in there on trumped up charges and uh, just got to pray that, that this, that this turns out well. Ricky Martin. There's some stories going to be coming out about him that aren't good. You know, his former assistant is suing him. So are there stories that she's making up? She's saving him from... But these stories involving a family member could be very damaging to his career and his life. And we're going to open the age up. But Ricky Martin, there's a scandal brewing. Y'all going to be like, I just said it was a scandal brewing. There's a major scandal brewing. I think they're trying to keep a lid on it, but it involves a family member. Could you imagine not seeing your favorite NFL games on regular TV. We're talking Fox, ABC, CBS, NBC. That's ABC. The streaming services are really getting into the NFL game. And right now, there's a deal. I don't know if it's going to go through where NFL games could wind up on Apple TV. Everybody don't have streaming services. You know, some people you know, are hesitant because then if you got if you got every streaming service, why'd you get rid of cable? Because it's costing just as much as a cable bill. Everyone doesn't have streaming services, but the money that they're putting out there, 
and I'm talking many years from now, maybe like 10 years from now, you might have to watch your favorite NFL game on the streaming service. That would be that would be something. I, I still kind of believe in the big four, but look how the streaming services have taken over. I didn't even realize that when the Emmy nominations came down, how was how Abbott Elementary the only network show to be nominated for an Emmy? I thought, I gotta, I gotta check this. I was like, no. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, no. Tr trust me, there was Hulu leading with 58 nominations. But look how the streaming services are dominating. Nine times out of 10, it's better TV shows when you see these shows that pop up on streaming services. And a lot of people have the FOMO, the fear of missing out because they're like, wow, this one has this and this one has that. I've I've given the cutoff. I said, we ain't getting no more services around here. I did. I, I really had to put my foot down. I said, kids get Disney Plus. Mom gets Netflix. Kids can get Netflix too. We got HBO Max. I, I just had to say, we're not getting no more. We just had to go over somebody's house um, that has it. But you got to put your foot down with some of these streaming services because it adds up. And I can't even imagine that NFL games would wind up, would wind up on streaming service and not network TV. That's just my little rant because I love football and stuff like that. There's a weekend version that comes out. Yes, there's a weekend version. That happens right here. LaShawna Simon puts it all together. And for those who say, we want pictures, you got pictures with the weekend version. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Thanks so much for joining us.